because he's just having lots of fun in his own monster way. He loves to munch on garbage. He'll even eat the can. If this sounds gross, please understand. He's my best friend. My pet monster. My very, very bestest friend. My pet monster. A monster of a friend. A monster of a friend. <laughs> My Pet Monster. And in the news this morning, the monster hugger strikes again. Another monster scare at city parks and dozens of frightened citizens are running for their lives. It was big. It was hairy. It hugged me. Wow! That makes the fifth hugging this week. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Snow! Yeah! Kills me. Sorry. Monster's cold is getting worse, Chucky. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. Monzy will be fine. A monster cold is just like colds we get. It just has to run its course. Still take care of Monster real good. Look, guys, Monzy's too sick to help you find Beaster today. Yeah, I guess we didn't help his cold much by dragging him around on our monster hunt. But the monster hugger must be Beaster. And if we don't send him back to Monsterland quick... With the whole town in a monster panic... Someone's bound to find out about my pet monster. But why would Beaster run all over town scaring the daylights out of people by hugging them? Beats me. It's real weird. So weird, they'll probably call him the army. Or maybe even Rex Stalker. Who's Rex Stalker? Only the world's greatest monster hunter, Jill. Well, we can't wait for him. We've got to get to Beaster fast. Right. And if Garlic can scare away Dracula, our Beaster repellent will drive Beaster back to Monster Land for good. <laughs> Yuck! This stuff would repel an entire population of Transylvania. Uh, that's not our Beaster repellent, Chucky. It's Monzi's chicken garbage soup. Oh, Monster no hungry. Monster not hungry? Boy, he is sick. Hmm. All right. Now this is Beast Repellent. Okay, Chucky, let's go get him. Try to get some rest. Okie dokie, Jill. I'll be back. Where me am? Me need hug something. Give you a big hug. Goodness gracious! I really needed that. Thank you, young man. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw. What happened? Where we are? Monster. Beaster ah. must be hiding around here somewhere. Max? Yeah! Oh. Don't do that, Chucky! Max, I've been wondering, what if this monster hugger isn't Beaster? What do you mean? Look! There's no way Beaster made those footprints. They're too big. No kidding. Whatever did must be a lot bigger and meaner. <laughs> yes! Ah! What was it? That's a monster? monster? What are you doing here? What you mean? 
Me call myself. No, you didn't. This is weird. Monster. Feel. Woozy. Come on, buddy. We're taking you home. Then what do you think? Monster Hugger is still on the loose. They reported another sighting this morning. We really have to keep a closer eye on Monzi. Why don't you sleep in my room, Monster? Mom won't be back until late. Okie dokie, Ma. Ah. Sneeze alert! Ah. Ah. Excuse me. Monster go sleep. There's one thing we forgot to nail down. Hot time. Maybe Puppy Dog home. Hello, Puppy Dog. Monster love doggies. Me hug and pet and love and squeeze. <laughs> Puppy dog, come back. Monster hug some more. Hmm. Monster hugger is still on the loose. Huh. Who ever heard of a hugging? Monster? Yo ho! Happy dog! Where you go? Uh, uh, I <laughs> huh? There's no Max room. What me do here? I'm coming, princess! <gasps> Jill, get Monster back upstairs. Come on, Chucky. Holy cow. It was that strange pet of yours that did this, wasn't it? But Mr. Hinkle, look. It's the Monster Hugger. He's been here. <gasps> he can't. He could still be lurking around. What are we going to do? Get Rex Stalker, Monster Hunter. I hope he's in the yellow pages. Wow! Rex Stalker! Could we have your autograph, sir? We've read all your books. Absolutely not. We've no time for this. Rex and I are hot on the trail of the monster. 
I always have a moment to greet my fans, Hinkle. But what if the monster gets away? Nonsense. Rex Stalker always catches his monster. Hmm. Yes, sirree. You've got a big one here. A big one. And the bigger they are, the meaner and nastier they are. Meaner and nastier. I knew it. Hmm. What kind of modern tracking devices will you use to catch him, Mr. Stalker? Don't be ridiculous. Of course, he uses radar and sonar. Don't you be ridiculous, Hinkle. I use my nose. Nose? I sniff my monsters out. Nothing escapes this nose. <laughs> mm, I, I think I picked up the monster hugger saying now. Well, let's get him. I sure hope they catch that whatever it is. You have to try to eat something, Monty, to keep up your strength. And then my little train said, Choo-choo. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jill! Whoever it is, tell them to be quiet. I'm working. <gasps> Guess who? Hi, Max. Hi, Chucky. Oh, no! Monster's the monster hugger! Monster one yeah. hug! We're closing in on him, Hinkle. And thanks to me, Rex Stalker is on his way to catch him right now! We now return to My Pet Monster. monster is big doesn't mean he's mean. I mean, I mean... Nonsense! Anything that big has to be mean! And nasty. Wait! <laughs> he's really close. <gasps> Police! Your cheap cologne is a clogging up my super sniffer. <laughs> Monster, can you hear me? Monster? Huh? Throw down the beast repellent, quick! Okie dokie. Huh? Why'd he do that? I don't know. Just pull! Push! Pull! Push! Aha! Uh -huh. That monster is hiding right around. Ugh. Where? Where? <laughs> where we are? Not where you should be. Let's go. <laughs> Too late. It got away. But that monster can't escape this for long. This isn't gonna work, Jill. Bar, bar. Watch out, pussycat. Good day. See? All right. But what if Monster sneezes? No one walks an elephant, Jill. Rex <laughs> <Black stalker! laughs> Rex will never be able to sniff Monster out in all these Run! onions. There's <laughs> Monster in the store! He's telling us. Guess who? Huh? Easter? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, I think we're getting close. Hmm. I'm on to him. Wait for me! Stay back, mister, or me give you a, a, a cold? 
Chucky, we're gonna lure Beaster straight to Monster's cage. Once Beaster sees Monster, he'll rip open the cage to grab him. Then you guys grab Monster and escape! Sheer genius! But what if Beaster grabs us or Monster first? We're goners. <gasps> like so um, uh, Good evening. Rex Stalker and I, Harold Herbert Hinkle, have captured the Monster Hugger. But before I bring Mr. Stalker and the Monster out, I'd like to say a few words. Hurry up, Hinkle! It all started as I picked up my morning paper. Suddenly... Monster won't go home. Max, come for Monster. Monster buddy. Max, come. Boys. No sign of monster or beaster. Maybe we didn't use enough repellent. Ah. Okay, so we used enough. Now what? We lead him to monster. Run! Beaster, follow your aroma, even in dark. <laughs> And, of course, I immediately realized something was amiss. So, with no fear for my own safety, I set off in pursuit of the monster. Monzi, where are you? Monster! Max, help, Max, help! Monster! Max! Monster! Then I graduated with top honors from Mrs. Selznick's fourth grade class. Of course, I. <laughs> Beaster got you now! <laughs> now! <laughs> Monster. Me want hug. An even bigger one. I'm out of my league. <laughs> Let me out of here. Yeah. You didn't want to do that. <laughs> nice going, Monster. You really saved the day. Me did? You bet. Both Beaster and Rex will think twice. 
voice before coming after you again. Boy, meat monster hungry, Max. Monzi, your appetite's back. Your cold must be gone. Rex? Huh? Oh, Rex! Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, yeah. Rex Stalker and his chattering teeth. Rex, what happened? Where's our monster? C -c -c Catch your own uh, monsters. Ah, quit. Quit. Oh, dear. <laughs> but he assured me we, I mean, he caught the monster. But, uh, please, I had very little to do with all this. Really? It's been one full week now. And it seems the monster hugger has disappeared without a trace. Also in the news, Rex Stalker announced his retirement from monster hunting to devote his time to chicken ranching. Well, that's the last this town will ever see of Rex Stalker. Mm, yum, yum. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, monster feel, monster ripping. It all goes to show just because someone's different, it doesn't mean they're bad. Yeah, because who knows? Inside, they could be as nice and as friendly as my pet monster. 